Hey guys, welcome back. So today what we're gonna talk about is the replacement application and why you would need the replacement application. Well, let's get into it. All right, to find this application, you are gonna go to bci.utah.gov. From there, you're gonna go to forms and applications. From there, you're gonna go to concealed firearm permit forms and applications, then, you're gonna download. Now, this form does need to be notarized, just so you know. Once you have done that, then you can fill out the information that you need. So, say you lost your concealed firearm permit. It is okay. Shit happens, right? <laughs> All you have to do is go online, get this form. There is a box for permit has been lost. Say that you know for a fact that it has been stolen, definitely file a report with your PD. Now say it's just been in your wallet and it's just damaged and worn and you can't wait the five years for a new one, you can get a replacement just for that. This form is for you if you have changed your address. Now your driver's license and your concealed firearm permit should always match at all times, so make sure those match. So if you move, even if it's down the street, get that address change done. It's only $10 to do this. It is super affordable. And so one thing with this, even though you do the replacement application, it doesn't re revamp your expiration date. Your expiration date will always be the same. It's that full five years. All right, name changes. If you have a name change, I don't care what it is, what type of name change that it is, you can fill out this replacement application form and get that name changed um, on your concealed firearm permit. So with your name change, you do have to have a valid driver's license with that current name change. And this form filled out, notarized with $10 and sent it into BCI. It takes about a month for BCI to turn around and process this application for you, but there you go. So anything that changes on your concealed and you've already changed it with the DLD, so just include your driver's license with that new name with this application so they can get that filled out for you. All right, so right here is where it needs to be notarized. Um, find a local notary. We're here local in Salt Lake. I would just run to BCI. Obviously I wouldn't run. I would definitely drive because I'm lazy, but <laughs> Go to BCI, they could do a notary there for you, and you just pay for the form right then and there, and you know for a fact that it's not gonna take the mail time or it could get lost in the mail or whatever it is, right? It's just done. So there's that. Um, I hope this helped you. If not, leave a comment below. Let me help you if you have any questions. Thank you for watching, you guys. Thank you for support. And also, I have exciting news. I am going to reveal what's inside this box to you in the next video, so stay tuned. Okay guys, stay safe and I'll see you next time. Bye.